Hey, I'm Jerry Ellsworth, and uh, by popular demand, everyone's been asking me to show how I actually wrap the wire around to make the EL wire. So here it is. Um, I've taken a little length of wire off of this motor armature, and this is the enameled wire. And I've stripped a piece of um, insulated wire to get to the stranded core, and I pulled one of those off. The only thing I've done to the end of these wires, just so I can clip it to my power supply at the end of the video, is um, put two blobs of solder on the end of the wire. All you do is just grab these two things and just twist them together. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's the enameled or the insulated wire, if uh, which one's doing the twisting, because um, it's really just the gap between um, the two wires that forms the capacitor. Um, the enameled wire I'm using here is very, very fine, um, so it's a little difficult to work with, especially under the pressure of having to do this on camera. Oh, and I know I have a dead pixel. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Um, if you want me to get a new camera, send me a new one. My friend Ken over here said, don't insult the audience, uh, it's not a good way to keep them, but hey, well, anyway. Alright, I'm almost done here. Alright, alright, it's almost twisted to the top, it's not very closely twisted. Closer the, you, you, the, the loops, the better. Alright, now that it's twisted together, I'll go ahead and clip it into my power supply to hold it. And then... It's as simple as just painting on some of this phosphor. I'm going to use this kind of salmon colored phosphor and goop that on. Make sure it gets between the windings. I have a little piece of wire here. Oh, it's kind of dried out a little since uh, I last opened it. Okay. Just going to goop that up and down the wire here. Try to get it to stick. It's a little difficult now that it's dried out. Hmm, let me try to get some more again. You can see it's kind of separated out. I was driving to California in a hundred plus degree weather, so it may have messed up the solvent in this. Alright, this looks a little runnier. There we go. Getting to paint on here. This stuff is is diluted down, the binder is diluted down so you can silk screen it, so it it's fairly runny um, unless you abuse it like I did. Um, look in the the, the uh, description, there will be a link to the guys that sell this um, experimenter's kit. Let me grab a little bit more here. You don't even have to wait for this stuff to dry before you turn it on. In reality, it, uh, it's so simple to do. Alright, there that should be enough. So now I'll just flip on the power supply. It should start glowing. There it is. Voila! And don't complain about my dead pixel. And, uh, and uh, hopefully I haven't insulted you too much. Uh, um, if you like nerdy things, you should subscribe because I'm always doing nerdy stuff. Um, and I'll be talking about power supplies pretty soon um, to drive these. It takes uh, somewhere in the, the range of 100 volts at uh, 60 hertz to a few kilohertz to drive this. Alright, bye.